You may want to do a compression test if your engine is not running properly. The purpose of a compression test is to make sure air is flowing efficiently through the engine. You may be able to hear the engine misfire while you're driving or while the car is at idle. This could be a faulty, faulty ring, cylinder, bad head gasket, valve problem, or any other kind of compression leak. A compression test would prove a compression leak and you would be able to help you diagnose the problem. Alright, tools needed for this project are safety glasses, fender covers, a compression test kit, socket wrench, extension and plug wrench, and one friend. Before you start the test, look up online manufacturer specifications for compression for that particular car and engine. first thing we have to do is disable the ignition or fuel system and we are going to do this by pulling a 10 amp injector fuse. To disable the ignition system we are pulling the harness plug out of the coils. Next we're going to want to remove all the plug wires and plugs. The reason for removing all the plugs is so the engine cranks over easier when doing our compression test. Once the final plug is out, we can go ahead and install the tester on the first cylinder. Ready? Find the correct compression tester adapter for your spark plugs and then thread it right into the spark plug hole. Okay. Uh, keep an eye on your gauge and have your friend inside the car crank the engine while holding the throttle all the way open. Um, you're going to want to record the after the first crank and after the last crank the numbers that you get. Make sure to hold the... Crank the car until the gauge stops. This should be after five or six cranks. Repeat this same process for all cylinders. Um, record your results, and if any one cylinder is 20% um, more or less than the rest of the cylinders, that cylinder is a problem. After you finish doing the compression test for all four cylinders, com compare your results from the numbers you got. If any one or more than one cylinder is below the pressure of the rest of the cylinders, it's a possible problem. We found cylinder 3 had low compression, so the next thing we have to do is a wet test. Squirt a little bit of oil down the spark plug hole, and then reinstall your compression tester. If compression goes up, then it's a piston ring problem, and if it does not go up, then it's probably the valves. After you finish the test, be sure to replace all the fuses, harness plugs, spark plug wires, and plugs you removed during the process.